Ooh, boys and girls, we skipped Friday. We are here on a Saturday afternoon, and it's beautiful outside. I'm up in Banger Brewer, Maine. Banger in the front and Brewer in the back. Uh, uh, never mind. Never mind all that. Uh, this is Stirring the Pot with Don Kincaid and my very special guest. Look at who we have today. It's the president. I like to P-R-E-Z, the prez of N-W-W-E, New World Wrestling Extreme, none other than James Allen. Thank you for sharing some of your time in your life with us, the fans, on Stirring the Pot, my friend. What's going on, Don K King K, man? I appreciate you having me on, man. I've been looking forward to this for a long time, man. Yes, yes. Uh, my friend. Uh, I've seen your company from a distance. I've seen what you do for the talent. I've seen your live uh, feeds on the Facebook. I've seen the messages that you give us, the fans, and you give the talents. Uh, my friend, you are uh, you're a promoter after my own heart. It feels like you're doing everything correctly, and it looks like you're having a lot of fun up there with all of the talent you have on your roster. I mean, I'm a, I'm having a blast, and you know, I've been doing this all. I've been doing this stuff a long time, and you know, as you know, I've been in the business. I've been in the business since '94. That's when we signed the paperwork to get training and all that. January fifth, uh, I believe, of '95 uh, was the first day of training. I've been doing this a long time. Been promoting for almost 20 years. All right. This December, December uh, 3rd, um, December 3rd, no, December 1st, 2003, uh, that's when New World Wrestling Extreme, um, you know, made their debut on the indie scene. And uh, this December will be 20 years. We've been rocking the foundations and we just, uh, we just keep on moving things forward and, you know, uh, investing and investing more and, and just and just trying to build something really good. And at the same time, support every independence out there. That's why, like, our new trailer, it says support your indies, you know, because I want I want everybody to do good out there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, absolutely. And I see that love that you give to the talent for the production value. And we're going to definitely get into that. The first thing I really wanted to kind of jump into with uh, having a promoter of such a company, the longevity. You're speaking of 20 years in the independent scene. Uh, how, what do you feel uh, it takes to have that longevity of something like 20 years in the business like that? Well, I mean, actually, it's 28 years in the business. Uh, it's 28 years in the business. Oh, 20 oh. Years, 28 years. And uh, 20 years on the promoting end of things, you know. Yes. Uh, but Correct. I think, you know, as far as you gotta, you gotta have a heart. You know what I mean? You gotta be devoted. You gotta be committed. You you gotta want it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta mm -hmm. have visions to make things work. You know, you can't be have a uh, a dry personality or a dry. Uh, mind because you're not gonna go anywhere in it man. it's just gonna be plain jane man you know what i'm saying yeah. uh, absolutely so i i just think you know I, you know i just think you know what i mean it's like if you're gonna do this you gotta go full force you know yeah. what i mean not half-ass things and stuff like that because it's it's really not gonna get you any anywhere you know what i mean and it's like you got to try to be one of the best out there because there's a lot of people, you know, there's a lot of promotions out here in New England. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, there's a lot of good ones too. You know what I'm saying? And I can name a half dozen and I can also name, the, you know, a few that, you know, that probably shouldn't be doing any, anything, but I'm not going to get into that. Uh, mm -hmm. But there's a lot of good out there. You know what I mean? There's a lot of good in Connecticut. 
You know, I enjoy watching Mario Mancini stuff, you know, with Paul, uh, Paul Romer and, uh, and all that, you know, test of strength, you know, uh, shut up and wrestle. You know what I mean? Those all like, you know what I mean? The bell time club, you know what I mean? And, you know, even like with like Bo Douglas and Slick Wagner Brown and myself, we're all running something. We're all from the same era. I was in NWA knowing a little bit before they were, but we're all from the same era and we're all doing something in the business still continuous, mm-hmm. you know? Um, I mean, they're trainers. They do very well. They got a lot of guys that's come out, you know, same thing with Mario Mancini and, you know, and uh, Paul Romer and stuff. You know, that's it, like all quality stuff there. You know what I mean? And we need more of it. But, you know, New England's saturated with a lot of independence. A lot. Mm-hmm. You know, especially in Rhode Island. It's, in, it, it's insane. You know? Uh, oh. You're not getting over there. Right? No, 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 not at all. These guys are just playing uh, RoboCop. Uh, There's something going going on. Uh, Wow. That's great. All right, we're back with you to this program. (laughs) Uh, With with all all of the, the flourishing of uh, wrestling right now, as it is what you're speaking on, it's easy to get lost in the shuffle as a promotion and your, you know, your talent, your roster. Um, Standing out seems to be one thing that NWWE uh, is not shy to do uh, with the production value that you've uh, pretty, you you have upped the ante in the past couple of years, really uh, of the production at the shows, the trailer you've already spoken of, uh, the way it looks itself, it's really presentable. It, it gives everybody that's on the highway something to look at, an, an eye-catching appeal. They might want to go check it out on whatever the Facebook or whatever you have written on there. Um, but not only that, it's again, I've heard those live Facebooks. It's for the talent. I'm bringing this. I'm bringing this production value. We're putting this money into it and all of that time and effort and love and passion for the talent to make them look good and rise to a different occasion. Yeah, and I, you know, and we've been doing it for years. I mean, in the last, I mean, in the last, I like you said, the last few years, um, well, we went out, we bought all new equipment. We got a new ring. We got guardrails. We got two entranceways. We got lighting. We got, I mean, I can set up here. I was just at a uh, boxing event that I set up the guardrails and some light stands and stuff for, for the, to light up the ring and stuff. I mean, I basically can help anything with MMA or boxing or pro wrestling. <laughs> or anything like that. But it's just, I want the guys coming through at my on my show, coming through that walkway. I want them to to, to, to have everything, um, the, the, the limelight on them, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? That's why, you know, it's like we try to dock and everything out. That's why they get that full blast. You know what I mean? That full blast right there at them. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I, I, and that's what kind of caught me as a fan. Yeah, it's fucking, I, uh, what do you call it? The uh, allergy season. It's fucking, <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. No good. But that's what kind of caught me as a fan when I first kind of discovered NWWE. Um, I, obviously, there was a few of the familiar faces like Ty Shine uh, was rolling there regularly at one point, and there was a couple other Rhode Island. Uh, wrestlers that I started becoming familiar with. And then uh, the production value, again, it just started really amping up. And I'm like, wow, they're doing some really cool stuff over there. Uh, You are uh, based out of Rhode Island. That is correct. Because most of your shows, what I see is out of Woonsocket. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Woonsocket, Rhode Island. That's where we were at. But when we first started uh, running shows, we were running in Blackstone, Mass. And Woonsocket, Rhode Island. 
I actually ran down on the Cape. We had Sandwich High School, we had Wareham High, and we were working with uh, Plymouth Intermediate School. Um, but we ran at like uh, the Attleboro Moose Lodge. I mean, we did other Moose Lodges and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and as time went on, I kind of just got more tighter at home because it just, you know, it, it just started getting crazier. You know what I mean? Because I went down to like three shows a year. And now after these last two years, I was the only wrestling company that I know of, uh, especially here in New England, uh, that unless it was like underground, that was actually running in a pandemic. But the thing is, it was... Um, outdoor events, you know, we had protocols, we, we did everything by the book, you know what I mean? But people still had fun and, and five shows time during 20 and three and 21. I mean, we did almost 1400 people during a pandemic, a total of all five (laughs) shows, you know, but like I said, we did, we didn't make it unsafe. We had, you know, uh, we had masks, uh, you know, people wanted them. We, we did the spacing with the chairs, you know. We, we did everything we, by the book, you know. We had temperature checks. We had hand, sanit- uh, uh, hand sanitizer wash stations, you know what I mean? We wiped down the ring, you know. We, we, you know, the referees all wore gloves, you know what I mean? So, I mean, we did everything by the book, and people had a blast. And it was actually, I believe, at that time, with us being the only ones running and people wanted to come out and gave us a chance to shine up a little bit, being the only one and people coming out to actually see what our product's all about. And, and that's what happened. And we were drawing people from three, four different states, New Hampshire, Mass, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts. I like five states. Mm-hmm. I mean, the only thing we, I, I think um, the only ones we weren't, uh, it was actually, it was four out of the six New England states. The only one we didn't do Vermont and we didn't do anybody from Maine. But we actually had people drive from upstate New York. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we actually had a few people come from Maryland. Uh, oh. Regardless, they were there to see uh, uh, one, of their, one of their guys, Big Ben Bishop, but they still drove from Maryland. You know right. what I mean? So it was it was good. You know what I mean? And we're starting to see that a little bit again right now. The ticket sales a little bit on the quiet side for I mean, I'm not saying we ain't selling tickets for the next event with Sergeant Slaughter, but it's one of those deals where, you know, you're gonna get the tickets. I mean, I've had it to where, you know, two weeks before the event, the tickets started going bananas. You know what yeah. I mean? And sometimes yeah. you get those ones where you don't sell a lot of advance tickets, but you get a big walk up. You know, mm-hmm. it, that's just a weird thing on the independent scene. Sometimes you sell a lot of pre sale and not get a big walk up. Sometimes you, you sell lighter tickets at the door and you get a huge walk up. I've seen right. it on both ends, you know? Absolutely. So, I mean, it's like, you know, and, and the thing is with us, we're like, what our talent that we use, we use a lot of guys from other than New England, like as far as Rhode Island goes, not because, I mean, we have a few that we use, you know, like the Coma Italia, Vincent Abruzzi, you know, we have uh, Sean Leader, you know, we have a few that we use. And the reason why I do that is because I don't want my shows to look the same as everybody else that uses every talent in Rhode Island. Right. You know what I mean? So I use yep. a lot of people from Connecticut, Western Massachusetts, New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania, Mm -hmm. and Florida, of course, you know? So it's just, you know, it's not that I don't want to use people from my home area, it's just because I don't want my shows to look the same. I want people, I want to give people a reason uh, to go to my event, not be like, well, you know what, I, I, this event's only 10 minutes from my house, and this guy I want to see is working there tonight versus traveling a half hour, 45 minutes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that, that's my whole thing, is to be, to be different, to be, you know, something that people are going to talk about. Uh, well, I'm going to have to agree upon everything you just said there, because uh, right now, uh, you have one of 
uh, one of our local guys around here, Magnificent Marcos, and a guy named Boots that I never knew of before down in Florida. And uh, because I see that you have the Tokyo Monster come up there quite regularly. And I see some yep. things have been flowing between Florida and Connecticut and Rhode Island and such over at uh, NWWE. But this storyline that you have going on right now, where Marcos and <clears throat> I hate to say his name, uh, Honest Abe with that damn cane, they went down with the NWWE championship down to Florida to defend it. They were victorious. The crowd absolutely hated them guys by the time they left. So then yeah, they right. came back home. Boots, literally, boys and girls, if you don't know who Boots is, check it. Check this. Check this whole situation out. He walks. And there's video chronological uh, journey of Boots literally walking from Florida all the way up to NWWE to challenge one magnificent Marcos for his championship and wins this championship and then turns around and walks back to Florida. Um, and we haven't seen Boots since. But I bring all of this up, this storyline, because at Combat Warfare 12, if I'm not mistaken, that's Combat Warfare 12, right, my friend? Yes, sir. Uh, that's coming up uh, May 21st. And uh, <laughs> we finally get to see this culmination. Is Boots going against Magnificent Marcos for the return of this championship? Please say yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> That's, that, that is what is going on. And, uh, you know, not for nothing. I don't know if I can grab it. I mean, I'm going to try to attempt to grab it. Uh, but I can't grab it. I wanted to show you something. I'm actually going to pull over for a minute so I can grab something. Oh, show wow. You. Thank you. Um, we did a, uh, a full... I mean, I don't know if you've seen that, that, that change the story to a different second for something else. But did you see the new tag team titles that we got? I have seen. and I, I, the, the ones that the, um, the, humidor. the humidor has, the new red ones. Yes, sir. With the big gym side plates and everything. Ah, oh, gorgeous. Absolutely you gorgeous. You fall asleep. Yes. Don Kincaid My man Are we not connecting here? Have you, you seen the new the, yeah. Okay Yeah, the big gym side play Yes They're they're absolutely beautiful hardware I love wow. that well, so you you know like we got that, that and all that stuff. Well, we're gonna actually get a chance now to actually display, and whoever wins that match is gonna get the brand new New World Wrestling Extreme Heavyweight Championship that night. All what? Right? And I, they, I, we got a new belt that I got it sitting right here. I actually have it in my truck with me. Yeah. All right, <laughs> and. That the other one that's currently that Boots has right now will be retired because it was our first set, five years old. We retired. We're going to be retiring it. And whoever wins that match is going to get the new championship. Oh, holy crap. Look at that thing. Right. Wow. That's, that's the new heavyweight championship right there. Wow. All right. <laughs> Got the double, double, double swords, again, you know. But that's the that's the new heavyweight title that we will uh, display, and whoever wins is going to be able to take that. And as we already retired our open weight title, we are and we've got a new one, which Dan the Man is holding that title. Okay. Uh, and um, the new tag team titles, as you've seen with the uh, the big Jim Anderson memorial play, always a human, always a champion. Uh, the hardware is absolutely beautiful. And thank you so much for sharing uh, with us on STP that amazing championship. We, we appreciate that. Yes. 
Um, now that whole storyline, it, it catches me as a fan because you have uh, three uh, really good characters. One of Boots, Magnificent Marcos, and Honest Abe. Actually, four. That damn cane. Um, you take those elements, you put them together, and it's been an absolute cool storyline for me as a fan and many others. That's very evident uh, with what's going on over there. Uh, you have, and since you were speaking on the new tag team championships and the, the humidor along with Big Smoke, um, the changing of the humidor uh, was absolutely dear to my heart, seeing HVO come in and uh, filling that spot with one Ryan Frost. Uh, absolutely love that, my friend. That that was amazing. Yes, and, uh, you know, I uh, I thought it was uh, a good good mix with that, you know, we did a good deal with that. And not only that, you know, we're speaking of the humidor and big Jim Anderson, but starting in September, I mean, uh, excuse me, in July, we start the big Jim Anderson Memorial Tournament. Okay. Okay. So that's, that's starting July and it will end on the September show. It's a two part show. Uh, oh. So that will start in, in July, um, and reason why I did it like this was July was the month that he they won the tag team titles. He passed in August. Okay, he should have defended the titles back in September. So that's why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it. So the tournament will start in July, and it'll end in September. Now the winner um, is going to get a you know. Like a like a trophy type of thing, you know what I mean, and uh, which is being designed by Alex Rahas. Mm -hmm. All right, um, yeah. it's got to be the big Jim Anderson um, logo, his logo. The, the uh, awesome. what do they call it down there? And uh, I'm trying to think of uh, uh, the, the other part of the team that they were calling themselves uh, the uh, Brass City Devils. Brass City Devils logo, uh, his logo that they had that they were rolling with, that it's going to be that. Nice. Man, uh, look at all of this beautiful information one James Allen is sharing with us, the fans today. Ah, oh, love all of this. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Mr. Allen, th thank you for sharing all of that information. That's, that's just amazing. And I'll be, uh, again, I'll be stalking the old NWWE page uh, keeping an eye out for all of that stuff. You got to keep your eyes out there. Um, now, with the talent you have going on, I feel it's a great culmination that, like you were saying, it's some from this area. It's some from this area. It's You're kind of taken from around you and kind of bringing them together and making quite the cool roster because then not only do – uh, the fans from CT that love one Ryan Frost or one HBO and such, they start clamoring onto NWWE. But you also get those surrounding areas that these wrestlers com are coming from. And it's seemingly to make for a good formula right now for NWWE as a promotion. Right. And we actually got bigger, like, bigger things that I'm actually doing right now. And I wasn't really going to talk about this because we're kind of in the middle and the deal should be set um, by the end of June. Uh, we're acquiring Thunder Championship Wrestling out of Florida. <laughs> uh, um, so we're actually bringing two companies together and um, I'm acquiring it uh, the end of June. And so I will be uh, the president aka the owner of thunder championship wrestling and new world wrestling extreme joining forces and we are going to uh do some amazing things uh this coming year oh my goodness my friends boys and girls that are are viewing this right now very special time on an amazing saturday afternoon the information that was just shared with us with J from james allen now, that's something that you're willing to undertake because you know, <laughs> woo, you know how much it takes to be 
a promoter behind the scenes and dealing with all the talent, dealing with the venues and dealing with everything that it takes to be a promoter. You're willing to do this undertaking of taking on two promotions at the same time, my man. Um, are, do you have a screw loose is pretty much my question. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I do have screws loose. Everybody's <laughs> always. Uh, but the, here's the deal. The thing is, is I'll be still running my operation up here. I'll be running it from up down there from up here. I do mm -hmm. got guys that are running it now that I'm just going to take over and, and just keep on continuing to do it. Okay. Uh, what I'll be doing is I'll be going down there every couple months, you know what I mean? And checking things out and you know what I mean? And, and not only that, um, we, we have a school down there too. Uh, done the championship wrestling school that's in uh, Winter Haven. Uh, but not only uh, with that, we also have a place called Lake, uh, Tanner's Lakeside, which is in Winter Haven. We have uh, a whole county, Polk County. There's like four or five different schools uh, that they've um, operated, uh, which is going to continue to operate. Uh, so basically what we're going to end up doing uh, once this all takes place within the next few months, not right away. We're not jamming right away. Things are still going to smooth sail the way things are going right now. But eventually we're going to join uh, the two websites together as one power page, you know, one power site um, and doing everything where you'll be able to go into the website, click a link to New World Wrestling Extreme. It'll go right to it. But it'll be one. It'll be one link that'll mm -hmm. go right to the main the main website. It's gonna be like a power website, and then once you get into that, and then you'll be able to go. Oh, you want to go check out Thunder Championship Wrestling TCW? You'll be able to go in there and click that, and it'll go to that website. Uh, Mr. Allen is making some moves, uh, and really, uh, and I can't see nothing but but uh, greatness out of running both of these because. The intermingling of some of the talent that you already do, bringing up the likes of one Tokyo uh, Kahagas, if I'm saying that correctly, uh, because Tokyo I always Tokyo Kahagas, like correct. <laughs> um, he he's well known, and you I see that relationship that's been built with him and NWWE, and now it's been kind of uh, which in turn has brought that honest Abe. And Marcos going down there to the Thunder Championship Wrestling. And here we are with Boots. And, you know, we're doing this thing here already. And it seems, now that you've given us that information, this was the prelude of what will become the joining of both companies. And this is absolutely amazing, my friend. This, this yes. is... But the last, last month or so leading up to that show that's coming up next week, on the 13th and, um, and went ahead and at, uh, Tanner's Lakeside, our logo has been since, uh, the last couple months has been, I mean, we've been flashing because we've been doing business for a little while. Um, our logo has been on there, our actual, um, posters and their advertisement material as an affiliate, um, which we are, you know, and we were, now we're getting more out there. Now we're going to okay. jump on, on this type of deal. Um, we're actually uh, working with uh, uh, the uh, World Wrestling Network down there, training facility, nice. uh, WWN. Uh, so we got that going down there, which they're taking care of that down there. Um, so I mean, we got a we got a couple uh, couple deals, and our talent that we're that ro we're rolling with down there is basically from Georgia, Florida, Louisiana, Alabama, and Texas. Um, so. Basically, uh, everybody that I work with, I'm probably going to have uh, over 100 to 120 in talent uh, to work with with both shows. So basically, what I plan on doing is sending guys from up here uh, mm -hmm. down there and taking guys from down there and bringing them up here. Um, so we're yeah. going to be mixing, mixing it in. Um, so like guys like the humidor, they'll be going down to Florida. Uh, Marcos will be going down to Florida. We'll be sending Dan the man down to Florida. You know what I mean? We're going to be sending people in different directions. Um, and we're basically going to close in on the East coast eventually. 
<laughs> get out. <laughs> Uh, that all sounds absolutely amazing, and I, I will absolutely be keeping my eyes peeled uh, for all of the future uh, com comings of this venture you have going on. That Again, thank you so much for sharing that kind of information with us, because um, we would never hear, as fans, we would never hear this kind of stuff. We would never see the revealing of a beautiful, brand new uh, NWWE Heavyweight Championship. Um, and, and I do really, really appreciate you sharing that kind of information with us. Uh, that's absolutely uh, very kind of you. Now, yeah, uh, and I'm glad, hey, I'm glad to do it. And honestly, God, you're the first one to hear it. You know, yeah, I haven't you. even put this info out there because, you know, it's going to get out there eventually. People are already, you know, asking questions. They're already seeing our logo on their advertisement material. That people are already getting ideas. You know, so I just kind of like broke the silence. When the deal's a hundred percent and it's locked in, you know, then then the world's really gonna know. You know what right. I mean? Um, but I mean, the amount of um, you know the equipment that I got up here and the, and the equipment that I'm uh, you know. <laughs> Uh, acquiring <laughs> down there and everything like that is massive. It's basically double of everything I got. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, you know, same thing. You know, it's a 20 foot trailer down there. We got an 18 by 18 ring, high ring, uh, like 22 sections of guardrails, 150 sections of pipe and drape, uh, uh, entrance ways, you know, and, you know, basically I've started up here where we got a whole merch line where we got, as you see, I got the sweatshirt on, website down the arm. We got two, we got many different types of t-shirts. We just got a brand new one in and platinum uh, and stuff like that. We got beanies. We got uh, fitted hats, as you see I'm wearing right now. Um, we got we got coffee mugs. We got coolers. We have uh, the foam fingers. Um <laughs> We got, we, you know, we got all that. So we're basically what we're doing up here. Eventually they're going to have a big line of uh, merch down there. You know, right. uh, that's, that's what we're looking for. Like I said, I have operators down there, the same guys that are running it down there. Now, the only thing that's going to be different is ownership. Right. You know, uh, that's the only thing it is. The guys are going to still run it down there. Like they are. Uh, we're going to get more, more, um, uh, more amped up. More, and I want to take things in a different direction than when it's at down there now, even though it's it's in a good standing and they got a good following down there. But I want to take things as New World at TCW. I want to take it as a whole and I want to do something that's never been done before, you know, right. and, and I, I just like I said, I support everybody out there that runs clean wrestling, that runs good wrestling. I mm -hmm. mentioned names. I, I, I support independent wrestling. Like I said, that's why it's on my 20-foot trailer that everybody sees. You know, it says support Yannis, and I mean that. I support everybody. I share other people's promotion stuff. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, and, and it's just, the, the thing is, some companies like, get into it with each other. Some people might think, you know, oh, this guy stole my venue. You know what I mean? One thing about me, I've never stolen anybody's venues. I've gotten like where companies like just out here in uh, Massachusetts, um, in um, Taunton, um, another company was running there and they did some shit that, that the guy didn't like. I was talking to the promoter originally, uh, threw numbers at him and she didn't like it at the time. Um, he threw him out of there for whatever reason. He told me, hey, listen, it's business is business. He contacted me and, you know, we decided to do business. I tried to show there. We did fairly well uh, for the first time there. And we plan on going back there in October at the Platinum City Gaming. But like I said, you know, sometimes people want to do things. And it's like this particular promotion goes out. You know, that's why I don't do uh, poster material anymore. You know, I just do social media advertising because they could, you know, the promoter sending people out, ripping your posters down, uh, doing like crummy shit like that, sleazeball moves. And people probably know who I'm talking about. I'm not going to mention particular company name or promoter, 
uh, I just don't want to, you know, it's not the way, but it's a proven fact that, you know, it's okay for them to go out and go into people's neighborhoods and undercut them uh, to uh, get events um, and just be sleazeball type things. And that, those are the type of promotions that I don't support. Um, I'm not going to, you know, put their name out there and, you know, you know, backslam them or whatever and put them through the mud. But because people already know I'm not, that's not my MO, but I will say this particular one uh, does shit shady and, you know, it, it's not good for our scene. You know what I mean? And use particularly just use majority of students. That way he doesn't have to pay them. And and he takes all the money to whatever comes in at the door. You know what I'm saying? And I've heard it from multiple talents. You know what I mean? Multiple talents. So it's not it's not a bullshit story, that's for sure. You know? But hey, if that's what they want to do, let them keep continuing to do it. You know, but I will continue to support, you know, quality wrestling and yeah. You know, support independent pro wrestling. I mean, I don't, honestly, man, I don't watch a lot of WWE. I don't watch, you know, I am a fan of AEW. All right. Mm -hmm. AEW's hot. Okay. AEW, AEW's a real hot promotion right now. Right. They're doing stuff that, that makes things jump, you know? And, yeah. then, and, then, oh. you got, and then, listen, and then you got promoters out there that are the tax. The tax promoters. What I mean by that is they get their income tax, they run like one or two shows, and then there's no more of it. You know what I'm saying? So you get them every now and then. You know? <laughs> and I, you know, and the reason why I'm saying that is and talking about specifics of, of that type of stuff is because they shouldn't be doing what they're doing because. Sometimes when fans go and they check out, you know, it gets a bad taste in their mouth. You right. know what I mean? And right. then it affects all the other independents around. It's like if they're in that area or whatever, you know, because everything's social media these days. Everybody's recording something. Okay. So that's, I, I'm a, I'm a, you know, a person with that type of shit. And I just like, you know, I like quality. You know what I mean? Like I said, I named quality. You know what I mean? And there's others in mass like chaotic. You got limitless up in uh uh up in Maine. You got vacation yeah. land. You know, yeah. they seem like I've never seen I've seen some of their stuff, they seem like a good promotion. You yeah. know, um, I, I I you know what I mean? I've seen I know what's good and what sucks or what's bad or what shouldn't be running. You know right. what I mean? Just because I've been in it almost 30 years, you yeah. know. Yeah. But anybody out, you know what I mean? I'll support, I'll share, I'll, I'll, I'll share anybody's material out there. You know what I, I mean? I definitely have seen that of you, uh, especially being a promoter of one company and sharing multiple medias of other talents and even other promotions. I don't see that, to be honest with you, uh, not even on a regular basis, but just in general. Uh, so I applaud you for that, for just even doing that, because that's not something that's normally done. Yeah, um, I mean, I, like I said, I want everybody to succeed. You know what yeah. I mean? I want everybody Absolutely. because that's what makes us as a whole. Even though we all got separate company names and this and that as different promoters, we're all a whole if you look at it. We're all from the same scene. You know what right. I mean? We might, be in, <laughs> we might be in a different state or whatever the case is. But the thing is like this. If everybody stuck together and everybody, all these good promotions started sharing everybody's promote, promo, like me, I share other people. They start sharing my stuff mm. and it makes it all go around beautiful. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And Absolutely. I'm not going to stop doing it because somebody didn't do mine. Yeah. I want them just to understand that I'm going to share their stuff either way. But if they, yeah. uh, if they turn around and share my material, Material, especially when you're using a lot of talent that they use all the time. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So mm -hmm. if they're like your main guy, especially if they're your students and stuff, that they went to your school, right. you want to help your guy get out there as much as possible. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, I, that, that's, that, that's just how I see the, see how doing things and doing things correctly and, you know, and, and making things beautiful. Mm-hmm. 
I, I know you have a wrestling career previous to doing this promotion. Um, I could talk to you for like another three hours. Uh, but I do have, as you mentioned, one of the promotions I am right now. Uh, that's why I'm in the, in the car right now doing this SDP. I'm in the car over in Banger Brewer, Maine, and we're getting ready for vacation land uh, today. And it's going to be an amazing time. And I'm going to be leaving in a, actually about 15 minutes. Um, is there any possible way we could have the return of one James Allen? Maybe it, it, probably sooner than later. Is that all possible? Because I got so much more yeah. that I want to speak to you about. Hey, man, hey, anytime you want to go on, you let me know. Yes, yes. There ain't no, there ain't no problem. We can do a part two um, on this. Let's do it, part two, before Leo O'Connor's from inside the ring and all other sports gets me on part two. I'm still waiting on part two from him. Let's do it before <laughs> he does. It's only been about two years, and I'm not chewing on it. I'm just breaking balls. But I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting. You know, come on, let's do it. Whenever you are ready, brother, you let me know. We could, we could take it from day one of my career. We can talk about the uh, the New England Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame that I'll be going in <laughs> next July. Trooper Gilmore, former yeah. NWA, New England champion. Yeah. You know, we could talk about anything you want. We could talk about matches that I've... I've gotten involved in with some main stars like Abdullah the Butcher. We can go. Yeah. You know, that's I got a lifetime. I, I got a I got a lifetime of stuff to talk about. So whenever yeah. you all want to roll again, we can get number two away, man. Well, uh, first off, uh, a, a beautiful shout out to one Leo Connors. We love us some Leo Connors. Uh, I, love, second, I love Leo. <laughs> second off, um, I think our part two might be uh, way much sooner than later because uh, I feel like I'm cutting this so much shorter than I'd rather do. Uh, so I think this is going to be coming. Part two is going to be coming much sooner than later. Uh, so we're going to get that situated on the schedule. Uh, thirdly, uh, before I do let you go, uh, please tell us the fans or anyone that doesn't know that's watching this, where do we find the new the NWWE stuff, the media, the, the YouTubes, the whatever you've got going on? Please send right. us well, the we're, Right. We're on New World. Uh, we're on social media, all social media. We're on YouTube. We're at uh, New World Wrestling Extreme on Facebook. At NWW Extreme. Um, uh, at New World Wrestling Extreme on Instagram. At NWW Extreme on Twitter and New World Wrestling Extreme on YouTube. And you can check all our information out um, on our website at nwwextreme.com. Our upcoming events, our, as a matter of fact, we've got an upcoming event coming Saturday, uh, uh, May 21st, special meet and greet with Sergeant Slaughter, uh, 3 to 6. Um, in the event of 7.30, you never know who's going to get the Cobra Clutch. And uh, I'm pretty excited about it. And uh, like I said, you can get your merchandise, uh, nwwextreme.com. And, uh, you know, hey, shoot us up. Say hello. Hey, right now, I mean, just to throw it out there, we're over 8,200 people that's going to our website already. Because we have a website clicker on there that tells us on the traffic that is rolling. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll put the website clicker on there. Um, and then we were already, when it come in the background, we were already at over 5,000. So since we put that in last, within two months, we've had over 3,032, 3,033, uh, 3,333 or so uh, clicks on our site. So we are getting traffic. And, uh, you know, well, who's and, 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 and who's counting, right? But, I mean, well, the counter is. It's counting. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But anyways, it's always a pleasure. I'm glad I got the chance to get on here with you, Don. And you, you've you been freaking like, I've been laughing my ass with the shit you do. The fucking mayonnaise package from the fucking shows. You know what I'm saying? No, I like helmets, baby. No, I like helmets. You know? It's been great, man. No, but like I said, I look forward to number two. I can give you, the next time you might have to mark it down for an hour because I can give you it all. Uh, well, you know, I don't have any runtime and my longest run right now is I thought it was actually two hours, 50 minutes, but I believe it's even a smidge over three hours is 
with one Ryan Frost that's going to be coming out soon. Uh, so I, I, I'm not afraid to sit and talk. It's just with our schedule right now and me having a bounce for a VPW. Uh, again, I feel like I'm cutting this so way short. So that's next time we, got we sit down, we will talk whatever uh, one James Allen wants to speak upon because my man, that's why we do these things is to hear the stories, to hear the that's crazy, right. to, to just just to connect with new friends because this is our first time meeting like ever. We've never met before. So this is no. an absolute honor and a privilege privilege for me. I can't even fucking talk. <laughs> yeah, 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 man. No, no, it's been good. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I know, like I said, I know you sent something before saying if you ever want to come on, da 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 da, da. But my <laughs> mind goes a mile a freaking minute between work because my day job, I'm a truck driver, as you know. <laughs> uh, so you know, but like I said, man, I've been looking forward to this for a while and stuff. So, you know, like I said, whenever you're ready and your schedule's clear and you're free, like free, any any time on a Saturday's works best for me because of my schedule during the week. I can give you the whole day if you want. It don't it don't wow. matter. Oh wow! You know, maybe I'll have to fit because I have never yet. And I know you came to Connecticut, and I apologize. Uh, I will. My, my love, Cindy Hart, she's ring announcer, and there was an, another company on that same day that you were debuting in Connecticut. But, you know, a Saturday, uh, an all-day affair, that almost sounds like we may have to connect on one of these NWWE shows, even if I have to take a road trip up to your way and make something like that happen. Uh, I would absolutely love. To, uh, uh, I'll tell you, I, I'm gonna tell, listen. I'm gonna tell you like this: if you can go all the way up the Brewer Bang Wall, you can go to Woonsocket, Rhode Island. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's way half the distance, my brother. You know, you're no. damn right. You are. You are. Yeah, damn that's right. But we yeah, I mean, you, like, you, dude, you're welcome at our shows anytime, dude. You and your lady, anytime, any place, no matter where we are, you're welcome there anytime. You know. <laughs> Thank you so much for that love. And and again, the time that you spent with us, the fans, absolutely priceless was everything that you shared with us today. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I wish I could sh I could just put this up immediately right now, but I will be sharing it either later today or tomorrow. So one of the two, this will be out. So I wish it could be out today, but it are, are right now, but it will not be. But oh, we will good. Hey, you know, what they, they, you know what they say, right? Something good sometimes worth waiting for. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, my man. Uh, that's going to be the title of this episode. I name everything different. Uh, uh, that's exactly going to be the title of this episode. I love that. Thank you so much for saying that. Right. Uh, you have been absolutely amazing, my friend. Uh, the time that we have hey. spent, it's been almost. I, uh, I just want to show you something real quick. I, just, I don't do this too often, but oh, she wants man. to say hi. <laughs> what? That's my Tiana. That's Tiana right there. Everybody knows Tiana. You can, <laughs> hey, you can, you can ask Q the ref about it. Q the ref. <laughs> I, I, I have seen Tini, uh, Tiana is very popular up your way for uh, sure. <laughs> she is. She is popular. <laughs> oh my goodness! Uh, this is Turn to Pot with Don Kincaid, and my very special guest today that joined us. I cannot thank him enough. One James Allen, the Prez, the P R E Z of NWWE New World Wrestling Extreme. James Allen, I know I already said your name again, but I had to repeat it one more time. Thank you so much for spending the time with us, the fans. Oh, yeah. I Anytime, brother. It's been a pleasure. Yes. And like I said, you just give me that, that next date you need, and we'll take care of business. I, I got you, man. I look forward to that for sure. <laughs> oh, shit.